I'm Shauna Hardaway from Arkansas in the United States. We're at the HSCT Clinic of Mexico in Monterey, Mexico, uh, the University Hospital. My son has autism. He was uh, diagnosed at two years old. He was uh, severe, doing some self-injuring behaviors, uh, some aggressive meltdowns, probably like 10 to 15 times a day. It was He was getting more severe. He only said a word or two here and there. And then we found Dr. Consuelo Mencius Guerrera, and we have been, this will be our fourth procedure treatment. Did a lot of research on just different options for autism and stem cells came up. It was in the discussions, I heard people discussing it. And then I did some research on what type I wanted and which physician I wanted to use. And Dr. Consuela has a lot of experience. And then we spoke to her and she's so compassionate and caring. So we knew that this is the place we wanted to come and she walked us through every step and so is the staff here at the clinic and we really appreciate everything everyone's done for us. Uh, you never feel alone, you know, you, you worry about that when you go somewhere that you, is away from your home is that you're going to feel alone or isolated and, and if you have a question, but everybody in the clinic including Dr. Consuelo is easy to get a hold of and they'll answer your questions and patiently no matter how many you ask and there was, he was not improving and that's something we all know for sure. And even people who uh, maybe didn't see the benefits of stem cells after we come each time and they've seen him progress, they're like, there's no doubt that this has helped him progress because he was not. He was seven when we came the first time. There was no progressing. He wasn't able to go to school, wasn't able to go outside of the house. We would go. Uh, a couple places but usually it would end in a meltdown and now we're able to go places so that's a big leap for us and everybody can see improvement. After the first uh, stem cell treatment my son began uh, speaking more and more clear and the meltdowns decreased uh, almost immediately. He became able to concentrate more uh, he would do more eye contact. Each time we've come, we've had progress in gains that we've gotten, like the eye contact, the speaking, the less frustration because he can understand. He's learning to write now, able to hold a pen, which he wasn't able to do. He's doing well in therapy, which he couldn't even benefit from therapy before we came for our first stem cell treatment. And he's happier, he laughs more, he sings, he dances, he likes to interact with other children more, and he gives more affection, so. I've never been anywhere outside of the United States besides Scotland, so I just wasn't sure what to expect, you know, besides being in the United States. And everybody's been very friendly. Anything that you are concerned about, it's, you know, it's very warm here. Like we're so used to coming now that it's like a second home. We, we've enjoyed it. Everybody's helped us and been friendly. And even though we're not uh, fluent in Spanish, we maybe know a word or two. Everyone helps us and is patient with us and guides us and helps translate for us if we need help. They, did, they picked us up. They had a sign with our name on it. It was the first person we saw when we got off the plane and we saw our name and they were very friendly and they helped us with our bags and then brought us to the, took us to the hospital and then um, then back to the apartment. They have regular, like, um, travel, like regular scheduled visits to the grocery store or if you wanna to go to a museum, they'll take you wherever you wanna go and they provide you with a grocery card for $150 while you're here um, the apartment is great. It has a washer and dryer, an iron, two bedrooms, restrooms, I mean, showers, everything you could want is here. And it's just like we didn't have to pack a whole lot because, you know, everything is here. It's like a, a home, you know, it's an apartment. So it's very nice and comfortable. And we haven't felt anything but comfortable since we've been here.
normally will have a little virally feeling yep. after the shots, yep. but this time he's not really having any of that. You know, he's happy, and you saw him come in. Yeah. Like, it's just exciting that he's not even feeling. I think that's a good omen. Yeah, you know, that's a good thing. like I'm always like, oh, you know, a little superstitious. So yeah. like this is like relieves, you know, that he's. I don't know if it's because he's getting older, you know, that it's. Yeah, I think so. Like, you know, this doesn't affect him the same way. It doesn't make, and he understands more this time. This is the first trip we could say we're going to Monterey to see Dr. Consuelo. Right, and he understood, he knew where we were going. We made a calendar, and he wasn't in oh, the. You told me, even for the picture, to take right, there right. And right, and we had everything on there, so we knew what to expect, you know, and that's got to be scary when you don't know where you're going, yeah. and now this is the first time that he understood, and we could tell him, and he understood, okay, it's not the second we're going to go in a couple days, yeah. so, it, awesome. I know, it just made me feel better, because it's not like, oh, surprise, you know, yeah. now you're on a plane, yeah. oh, surprise, yeah. 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 <laughs> And he likes knowing, you know, who wouldn't? You want more pictures? <laughs> <laughs> one more picture? One more picture. Are you going to be a superstar? Are you going to do a nice smile? <laughs> Push your button. <laughs> Push your button. You're kind of bossy. Are you bossy? Can you tell us your name? Your name? Cheese. Cheese. My name is? My name is Cal. Very nice to meet you, Cal. You're can you give him a wave? Wave. Say hi. Say hola. Say hola. Hola. <laughs>